In a Sweet Home District building could delay the start of the school year for several students. Willow Ridge Elementary School recently sent parents a letter about this issue. Now, two in your size, Natalie Foss was able to speak with the district and some concerned parents as well ahead of the first day of school, which is happening quickly next week, right? Natalie, what are they saying? Yeah, Scott, next week, next Tuesday, and I've been speaking to parents all afternoon about their reactions to this letter that they received and how they feel about the district and how they're cleaning it up. The Sweet Home School District sent out a school-wide email on Thursday after mold was found in some of the classrooms. Some mold-like substance was seen on several surfaces in limited areas of the building. Uh, so on cabinets, uh, in, in certain cabinets, and on like linens. The district is working with Stoll Environmental to test the air quality as they clean the entire building. They're also using air purifiers that they've had since COVID. By the time we're all said and done, it'll be have a have a top to bottom cleaning three times this summer. Uh, and then with all the air purification going on in the building as well. Jamel Bacon has three kids at Willow Ridge. Even though she was concerned, she's been very happy with the school's response. Having the district immediately send out the emails, very detailed information and act on it right away and go above and beyond was a relief to myself and other parents around us. So we're very hopeful that school is going to start on time and everything is going to be taken care of. Tiari Fromm has a second grader in the school. She's satisfied with how the district is alerting parents, but is concerned that school might not start on time. And there was clearly concern. So we were just a little worried with school starting next week. It's, it's a matter of can they get this fixed properly in the right amount of time. The superintendent said one of the possibilities if the school is not safe is starting with remote learning. Both moms say that they're confident the district will do what is right for the students. Safety is the 100% priority with with all of us in our community. If they have to put school off for a couple of days, uh, that's and that's best case scenario for the kids, that's what we want. Parents did receive this email within the last few hours, letting them know that they are continuing to clean up the school and describing that process in extensive details. Another concern I heard from a lot of parents was about summer camps that were held in that building all summer. The, student, the superintendent did let me know that those areas were not affected by the mold, so all of those children should be just fine. On your side in the studio, Natalie Foss, Channel 2 News. All right, excellent. Thank you, Natalie. Appreciate that.